What's going on guys? My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today we're going to be talking about the main character syndrome. This video is from a while back. I'm sure you've seen it if you haven't. All right. So if you want to like and subscribe after watching this video, please do. I appreciate you. Okay. Mm -hmm. DJ, come on, man. These people are waiting. Look, they're already gone. Wow. We already lost 50% of our retention. When I pop up this counter and break that camera, you're going to be mad. Whoa. So stop fucking recording me, bro. Make my milkshake and chill yeah, out. I'm not making nothing. You're not making nothing? I'm not making nothing? Dude, you, sir, you heard how she hey, talked to me? Alright. Inside? I'm not making nothing. You want to stand here? Stand here. We're not serving you. I'll go back there myself and make a damn milkshake, motherfucker. I swear to God, shit out of you. Dude, get the hell out of here. Get the fuck out of here, I said. Dude, make me, Mr. Sir! I'm gonna pop up this counter and break that camera. Okay, so this is what happened. These people, y'all know the little prank channels that go in, man. The little prank channels that go in, they mess with people. And so what happened in this video is they came in messing with this little girl, right? Uh, I'm assuming this girl's probably maybe a teenager, if not in high school. So they came in uh, messing with her and said, you better make my milkshake and all this other kind of stuff. And then the manager comes in and says, look, I'm not trying to do all this, right? Man, listen to me. We're just like, just a second. Please. Please. Point of information. Are you saying that there is no reason to treat people normally because you can make money off of them? Are you saying that because you want to be funny and get a couple clicks on YouTube that it's okay to do this? Can you guys please explain to me Please. Point of information. I need the information to explain to me why people continue to do this to people, right? I don't understand it, man. Why do we feel like everybody's not that important in our life? Why do we ever feel like everybody's an NPC? Why do we feel like everybody is supposed to be part of our world? And I continue to see this every single day when I see people dancing in public. I'm not saying I'm against people dancing in public. If, as long as you're not impeding anybody But it's like people go out of their way To go dance in public They'll go dance in places they're not supposed to People will uh, get in people's way They'll bother people They'll kick soccer balls at people Make them shoot hoops And I get it's supposed to be for a smile But it's not Because people are trying to live their everyday lives And they don't always want to be part of your world Right Can you just leave people alone And let them live I understand making content in of a person. You like I said, if you want to do it like a street interview, I'm fine with that, right? If you're making a street interview, you walk up to people, you're like, "Hey, do you want to do an interview?" They say, "No, you're going about your day." That makes sense to me. But when you involve people who don't want to be in your world just because they work at your local whatever shop this is, they work at your local Subway, right? And you feel like you got to go in there and bother them because they're working at Subway and you're making more money than them because you get a couple clicks on YouTube and they're working for their money at Subway. Y'all are both getting money just a different way and they make less than you because you go out of your way to make fun of people like that. I don't get it. It's the same thing when and I know people talk about this all the time, but when it comes to when it comes to being homeless, right? When people go out there and say, I just gave this man ten thousand dollars and now he can go. Why? If you want to do that, fine. That's your own prerogative. But why put it on film? Because what? People are going to say you're nice. People are going to say you're kind. People are going to say you're so wholesome. Because it doesn't make sense. Because to be honest with you, if you want to go give one homeless man some money, I understand that. But when you put it on video, it makes it completely different. Because what I think is when you go to give somebody money, and I was even against Mr. Beast when he did this. I find I understand Jimmy can be very philanthropist and he's giving way he's giving out way more money than I could ever dream of. But even Jimmy switched out of that and just said, hey, we're going to do a competition for the money, which is fine. That's content. You know, he loves to give money away. I'm fine with that. But before he shouldn't have done it that way when he was giving out the money, because he knew he said it himself. If I give out a thousand dollars to somebody, that video is also going to get me more money. Right. He had good intentions. He would just get money and give it away. I get that. But he also was doing it with the intent of knowing that it was going to blow up. Why did he know it was going to blow up? Because he knew how people see that kind of stuff. You're, you're banking on people's emotions of seeing you give somebody a thousand dollars and be like, well, what a great person. And then people click and follow you. I don't think that should be the reason to do it. If you want to do it out of the goodness of your heart, just do it. And if somebody finds out you did it or somebody was candidly, um, 
recording you, okay, you know, what can you do? But if you're doing it because you know people's emotions are going to get involved, you shouldn't do it. Same thing with this video. This person may have known that this girl was going to trip out. He could have known the manager was going to cuss him out. But some people will go trolling just to be like, oh, I know people. I know they're going to be a reaction. And because of that reaction, people are going to make videos on me, such as me. They're going to make videos on us and we're going to blow up even more because of that. But nobody knows your name, sir. I don't know your name. I don't know anybody who knew your name, who ever mentioned this video. And even if we did, if you're Jake Paul, you're Logan Paul, ah, who cares? Who cares? I think one thing we've got to stop doing, and I told you this, what happened to um, some of the YouTubers we see today is some of the content creators we see on TikTok. Money corrupts a lot of people. When that money starts to flow in, and listen, here's the thing, man. I know some people want to make a ton of money in their 20s, and I understand that. But when you make, it's what I see more often, and I see this in older people too, but I see it less often. That's all I'm saying. Is people who tend to get really famous at 20, they tend to get corrupted quickly because they haven't gone through enough in life. You know what I'm saying? I apologize. They haven't gone through enough in life to understand what it's like to have this kind of money or have this kind of fame. It's all just a dream and reality to them. And they're going to keep pushing the envelope more and more because they don't know how to take it. Right? And so we start seeing more YouTubers and more TikTokers doing this kind of style of videos. They act crazy. They're outlandish. They, it's like they don't care about life at all. And because they know it's going to get them clicks and views. And the bad thing about it is what do we normally see happen to individuals who go this route? They crash and burn. They crash and burn. Yeah, it'll make a ton of money, but they end up just disappearing completely. And so you got to ask yourself a question. Would you go out of your way like these two individuals to ruin somebody's day, make their life harder just for some clicks and views? Or do you think it'd be better to leave these people alone and find a way to be more creative? That's all I'm asking. I just hate seeing more and more people get exposed for not doing anything. They're just trying to go to work and pay their bills or maybe just go shopping or whatever they want to do with their money. But they get bothered by people who are making more money than them and they get bullied around and get made fun of and put on film to look stupid just so you can make a few dollars. That's why that's why money can corrupt some people or power. It's not necessarily the money. It's that power that money brings that corrupts people to where they stop caring about others. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, let me know what you guys think, man. Do you think people should keep messing with people? Do y'all love this kind of content? Do y'all love watching people prank people? Would you do it for a million dollars? Of course you would. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just saying, man, people are worth more than money and they're so much more valuable. Leave people out of this stuff. You want to make your little prank videos. You want to make your jokes, man. Find a way to do it with your friends. Leave normal, every uh, everyday people who don't want to be YouTube stars. They're not trying to be content creators. They just want to live their life and they just want to be left alone. Respect them. That's all I'm asking. I'm going.